Hello everyone, welcome to The Spice Detective. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Mediterranean ceviche. Welcome back guys, welcome to my kitchen. So, living in Miami, one of the, I guess, the staple dishes here is a ceviche. But all the ceviches I've tried, delicious as they are, they all have this South American Latin influence. I thought I can do something and bring the flavors of the Mediterranean right here to Miami and do something a little different. So I got a beautiful fish, a yellowtail snapper. It's local and it's wild. Of course, when you go to your fish market, make sure they clean it, um, remove the skin, remove the bone. First step, we're going to cut the fish into little cubes. That's the base of the ceviche. The smaller the cube, the faster the fish will cook in the acids of the citrus. The acid in the lime will actually cook the fish, marinated, and um, it's pretty much uh, an interesting uh, way of cooking fish. Let's put the fish that we cut into the bowl. Putting some salt onto the fish before I even add anything else and let it stand for about 10 minutes. It will start curing the fish and you're also gonna take some of the fishness out of it. So how do we bring the Mediterranean into a classic Latin ceviche? What are the flavors that actually reminds me of the Mediterranean? Oranges, they grow all over the Mediterranean. Mint to replace the cilantro. Wonderful, aromatic, but also very much a staple of um, Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine. Sumac, which you know I love. Now sumac is an incredible berry, very bold in flavors, has the citrus undertone, full of antioxidants, and also very much a Mediterranean um, wild plant. Of course, we need to have red onions for every ceviche. We're still gonna keep the limes, which will cook the fish and give it the classic ceviche taste. And here, I have something that is very special. These are fennel seeds. Fennel seeds are very aromatic, very anise in flavor, very much a staple of the Mediterranean. Used in Italian cuisine, Israeli cuisine, Greek cuisine as well. Very aromatic and it's gonna add a very special flavor. So make sure you have enough lime juice to cover the whole fish. Um, one of my favorite parts of a ceviche is what called in Latin uh, leche de tigre, the, the milk of the tiger. It's the actual juice left. You can actually drink it. It's delicious. Okay, once you have the lime, put it in a bowl. I'm gonna add some orange juice. To get this bright Mediterranean flavors we spoke about. Just a touch of orange. Orange is less acid, so it's not what's gonna cook the fish, but it's going to add brightness and aroma of spring. Make sure you wash it and just zest the orange right into the mixture. Next step is our Celtic salt. Remember, Celtic salt is the most natural salt you can get. Has a lot of trace minerals that you won't find in other industrial salts. Moving on, we're gonna add the sumac. Very, very high in antioxidants. Comes from a berry family. It's incredible. Our special fennel seeds. Again, bringing the Mediterranean flavors into our ceviche. If your stomach doesn't feel right, have a little bit of fennel. Let it sit there and absorb some of the toxins. No ceviche is complete without onion. I love red onions, they're delicate in flavor. When we put the onions into the limes, it also cook them and make them very smooth and soft. Make sure you, th you make them, the slice is very thin. It will cook faster within the lime and it won't be as sharp when it comes to flavors. It garnishes the whole plate. It's very, very healthy. Again, onion is a matter of um, flavor. 
Don't overdo it. Just let it do its magic within the ceviche marinade. Just gonna give it a little mix. It's coming together beautifully. Those flavors really complement each other. The orange, the fennel, the sumac. Um, so now we're going to mix it with the fish. Add all the fish into the sauce. Sauce, marinade, ceviche base. Just give it a nice stir. Make sure the fish is covered in the lime juices. So it cooks it and give it a beautiful flavor. The fish will absorb all of it. And I'm gonna let it rest for about an hour to an hour and a half in the fridge. If the cubes are bigger, let them sit for an hour and a half to two and absorb all the flavors. So it's been sitting for a couple of hours in the fridge and now we're gonna go into the plating. Now, the dish itself is not as pretty as it can be. So I have some heirloom cherry tomatoes, which are gonna add a lot of color and texture to our dish. I love heirloom uh, cherry tomatoes. Their size is fantastic. You have the orange, the red, the burgundy, the green. Um, I cut a few of those leaves, some mint. Mint is wonderful for so many reasons, other than its flavor. Did you know that mint, if you chew mint for a few minutes every day, it will improve your oral health. And of course, it will make you smell wonderful. So we have the mint, we have the cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna add it right here into the mixture. Give it a nice little stir. So it takes some of the beautiful flavors and then we're gonna plate. So just like that, start mixing some of the leaves and the cherry tomatoes all around. Feel free to play with it. You can serve it individual or you can serve it family style in the middle of the table with a few of the pita chips. Once you're done, we are going to add a little more sauce some of the sauce and of course a fresh sprig of mint and there you have it a beautiful Mediterranean ceviche I hope you like it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe follow us check out the blog for more information about all these spices we are introducing today all their health benefit their origin colors and flavors um, and send us your recipes let me know how you like your ceviche what do you put into your ceviche and um, thank you thanks again bye